Hi guys, my name is Cornelia Toeg, and once again, welcome to my workshop. One of our members at our local Woodworkers Association saw my site tour in one of the pictures that I shared on the group recently and asked about it. So I thought I would make a quick video to explain to you how it works and how I put it together. As you're using the vacuum and the air and the dust comes into the cyclone at the top, because it's coming in on the side, it would start spinning within the top drum and the heavy stuff will go to the outside and basically fall down to the sides into the collector box at the bottom with the lighter stuff and hopefully clean air coming to the middle coming into the vortex finder in, in, in here through the pipe, into the vacuum, through the bag, through the filter, through the fan and gets blown out again. So the key thing that makes it work is inside here we have what's called a theme battle. So let's have a closer look. Sorry, before we start opening it up, let's quickly talk materials. The body of the cyclone is basically just a 20 litre paint drum, similar to my workshop stool that I was sitting on just now and the piping over here is just your normal 50 millimeter um, PVC drain pipes. The box at the bottom is just off cuts um, MDF or chipboard I think if I remember correctly that I just built the box above box with and then I just put in some some threaded rods in below for the screws that just keeps it out. We will check that just now. Okay. So where the pipe comes in, it's basically just a normal vacuum pipe. The pipe diameter was a little bit too thin, so I just took some masking tape, wrapped it around there to increase the diameter so that it can fit nice and tight. Similar at the bottom. Let's just see down there. The pipe once again was too thin to fit into that hole. Once again, just a little bit of masking tape to make up the difference. Let's see what it looks like inside. At the bottom of the lid, I just put in a small plywood disc, similar to the one at the top, which just gave me a little bit more surface area to put the pipe through. And then the pipe, as it comes through, comes through with the eyes. That's about 90 millimeters below the lid. Now, if I were to do it next time around, I would definitely make the plywood lids basically almost the same size as, as the lid. Put that to the side. So, in here, you can now see what the Thin baffle looks like. Let's just go that way first. You can see the pipe where it comes in. Basically, I just cut off a shape on the side of that PVC pipe and then just put it in there with silicone and just add two bolts. Where is it on the outside? It's out of my hand. There we go. Just two bolts. To keep it in place. So the thin baffle as the air comes in on the side, it moves around the side, the heavy stuff moves around the side and drops down to the bottom, the lighter stuff keeps on spinning all the way to the center where the center finder is and it basically comes out there then. So the thin baffle, the name thin is because it's from the guy that designed this. In my case, put it about 125 millimeters below the lid. And if you remember, the, the lid itself came down about 90, so you maybe have about 30 millimeters of gap there below the vortex finder and the thin baffle. You can't properly see from here, but the bottom end of the, the paint tin, I just cut out the bottom and I had a few screws on the side that fix it to the top of the box. The knobs are basically just a 5 star knob with a threaded insert on the inside and a little washer that threads onto the 
tredje trads nets in the cabinet at the bottom. So yeah, there you go. This inside of the box. And you can see that it actually is quite fine material. Is it also makes it down there. This over here is just a little pin that I made. Is that we normally pull up to the to the top of the lid and then drops down so that I can figure out how much space there is still at the bottom of the box and how much volume I still have left there. And you can just see the bottom of the the paint tin where it is screwed onto the 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 box. And so you can see the shape of the seam baffle again. Last two things that I just want to show you is just the brackets to keep the cable in place when not in use. And then these latches just slides into these slots to keep it in place at the back. And at the front I made these little hooks that slides in there to keep the whole thing in place. Okay. So the bottom of the of the the daxel. What is a daxel? <laughs> the bottom of the lid 